If you need to get your guitar in tune but you haven't got a tuner to hand then there's a great little trick so that you can always get your guitar in tune with itself and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So maybe you've already watched my video explaining how to get your guitar in tune and that's going to be really useful if you have because then you're going to know what you need to be doing up here at the headstock. But what if you haven't got a tuner? How can you get your guitar in tune if your phone battery's died and you can't get the chromatic tuner up on there or you've forgotten your tuner pedal at home or there's just no way for you to tune your guitar well? Luckily, your guitar's got a built-in mechanism for tuning itself. All you need to do is play your bottom string to begin with. This is our E string. Now that E is in tune, but even if yours wasn't, it doesn't matter because we're going to tune the rest of the strings to that E, whatever it is. So if you can get a pianist to play an E or someone to play you an E somehow, that would be really useful. But if not, just play whatever note is on that bottom string and we're going to tune up from it. Now guitars are tuned in what we call perfect fourths. That means that the next string up is fret 5 of the string below. This applies to all strings apart from the G and the B string, which we'll talk about in a second. So if I've got an E note here, on my bottom string and now I'm happy with that note as being my E. Doesn't matter whether it's not quite an E, if you're not playing with anyone else then it doesn't matter at all. If you're playing with other musicians then ask one of them to play you an E, so at least you've got a frame of reference to work from. I'm then going to play fret 5 on my E string and that will give me my next open string which is an A. So if I play this note and play the A string, the fifth string at the same time, I can hear that my A is too low. Can you hear? It's too low. So I'm going to tune it up. I'm trying to find that note. So I'm going to adjust my open A until I get them on exactly the same note. And now my A string is in tune. I'm now going to do the same with my A to my D. So I'm going to play fret number 5 on the A string. And that's just a little bit too high, so I'm going to bring down that D to match fret 5 on the A string. Somewhere about there, I reckon. And now those ones are the same as well. D to the G string, exactly the same thing. I'm going to play fret number 5. That's the G note that I want. That's very high, so I'm going to bring that one down to match this note here. About there. And now my G is in tune. Now when I move to the B string, so G to B, it's actually going to be fret 4, not fret 5. It's the only string where we're going to do this. It's just one of those things about guitar that the G to the B string is a different tuning than all the other ones. All the other strings are tuned in perfect fourths. The G to the B is tuned in a major third. It doesn't really matter what those are or why. Just remember that on your G string, if you need to do this, you're going to do fret 4, not fret 5. So that's too low. I'm going to bring that up. get those in tune as well. And then finally I'm back on fret 5 for my top E. And I can jump between the tuning and play, play the two strings at the same time as much as I need to until I get them in tune. And now my guitar is in tune with itself. Now if I got an E from somebody else I would actually be in tune with all the other instruments as well. I've got an E, A, D, G, B and E. And as I go up from my open E, fret 5 is my A, 5 on the A is a D, 5 on the D is a G, on the G is fret 4 not fret 5 but that's my B and then B fret 5 is my E. And then I like to play a G major chord just to check all those strings are in tune and if I need to fine tune any of them I can do to make sure that that G major chord is sounding right and there we go doesn't matter if I haven't got a tuner I can tune by ear it's remembering that fret 5 on all the strings apart from the G string will always play the next string up 
I hope you could hear how those notes are the same as I'm doing that there. And that the frequencies are matching as I'm getting that A, 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 D, 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 D. And I'm trying to match those by moving the tuner up or down. And there's a little bit of trial and error with it. As you're doing it, say to yourself, that sounds too low, so I'm going to turn it up and then play the note again. Still a bit low. Is that right? Maybe a little bit still low. I know that's too high, but let's say, oh, I still think it's a bit low. Now I've gone too high. I can hear that's too high. Right, I'm going to come back down the other way. Oh, I'm not quite sure. I think that's still a little bit high, so I'm going to bring that down. Until you match those notes as perfectly as you possibly can. And that's how to tune your guitar without a tuner. If you've got any questions, then let me know down in the comments. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, then please give this video a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button down below. And I look forward to seeing you for another lesson very soon.